watching VR World Tour and we are in Las Vegas, Nevada off Fremont Street and we're standing in front of the tour ship. Let's go in and check it out. Now, hi. How are we doing tonight? Good, how are you? All right, we having a great new year so far? Yes, how about you? Alrighty, I'm doing wonderful. Excellent, all right. So, will you show me around? Of course, right off the bat, I'm gonna show you my favorite section. Follow me. This is gonna be all our cars. Now this is going to be our matchbox case. We got some um, Corgi, Dinky, you name it. And this is all our Franklin Mints. These are super detailed die casts. And then we got our whole wall of die casts. We even got Tonkas. We even have trucks dating back to the 30s all the way up there. That's like older than me and you combined. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes, it is. That's awesome. And then if you turn around, we got a whole, a whole bunch more cars. You just got them everywhere. But the coolest part is if you turn around, we have more cars. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay? They're everywhere. Nice. <laughs> We're surrounded. I know. I know. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys our Hot Wheel, Hot Wheel wall. But these aren't just any Hot Wheel wall. This is our treasure hunt wall. All right, and our like main lines dating anywhere from like the 80s to the early 2000s. And then right over here, we got some. A little bit of like a kids area, if you will, and then some Garfields, we got some trolls. I remember these trolls on the top of the pencils growing up, those ones were so fun. I used to love playing with the hair. And then at the very top, we got some Betty Boop memorabilia. Who doesn't love Betty Boop? You guys want to get your Betty Boop memorabilia? Come visit us because we got it all. Trust me, any Betty, Betty Boop memorabilia? So we got the coolest one because we actually have this one collector who comes in and she's like the sweetest thing. She just awesome stuff. That's cool. So, you know, I noticed that you guys also have some Happy Day uh, dolls. That's yeah. that's pretty cool. I think I think my brother actually had the Fonz. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Larry, if you're looking for another Fonz doll, they have it here at... Go to a shack on Fremont. Yes. <laughs> nice. We got our pop section. Which, these are really in right now. I don't know. They're kind of like bobbleheads, wacky wobblers. If you guys want to get your pop collection started, come on down. And then we got some I Love Lucy memorabilia, which is kind of rare for us. So if you guys want to get your Lucy memorabilia, I mean, here's a place to come. Nice. And then we got some Star Trek for you Trekkies. <laughs> come on down. And then... These are all our newer Star Wars. We have older ones, but this is where we keep all our newer ones. Separated for the collectors and then the newer collectors. I'm going to show you these because these are super cool. So these are called animation cells, and these are all original, hand painted, hand drawn by their original artists. Hmm. So a lot of them have their certificate of authentic uh, <laughs> authenticity in the back, and it's like signed by the original artist. So that's that makes pretty it cool. Even cooler. That's really cool. And then, this wall is just going to be a mixture of things. We have old school lunch boxes. We even have a Rock'em Sock'em up there. You know, we got newer G.I. Joes. A couple McFarlane figures. And Hercules, Xena. You name it. Almost everything. Here. And down here a little further, we even have some NASCAR memorabilia. Now, we are overstocked with our NASCAR memorabilia. <laughs> we have... A little bit too much. <laughs> That's cool. I see you have a couch potato. Oh, yes. Are, are these flying off the shelf? <laughs> no, she, she's very lazy. She sits there all day. She's not flying nowhere. What are you talking about? <laughs> I like that. Huh? You're funny. I like that. I like that. So, what's this wall? This is our newer Star Wars as well, but it's like a mixture between collectors and newer, newer items, if you will. So, mm -hmm. it's kind of like... Okay. Because if you look up top, we do have some older, like that ad app, that um, collector case, that one is older. And then up there, actually, here, let me show you these two. This lab kit, the Atomic Energy Lab, is actually Johnny's most prized possession. Hmm. Um, it was a lab kit made in the 50s, containing real uranium, plutonium, and a working Geiger counter at the time. Hmm. Like, that is crazy. Still the world's most dangerous toy. Wow. And then... Right next to it, we have the world's largest toy, the G.I. Joe, Joe aircraft carrier. Nice. Yeah, we even have the original Hasbro shipping box. That's cool. Yeah. Th that's not the original box? Or that is the original that box? That is the original box. Yeah, we have the original box and the shipping box. We got it all. That one they actually built on the po on the show Pawn Star. Yeah. It's like a three-hour build. Um, I believe it's like almost eight feet long. 
That's crazy. That's a lot of real estate. Yeah. I, uh, my brother and I actually had one of those. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Man. That is so cool. That's cool. Yeah. I always wanted to build it, but man, that's three hours. I don't know if I could do that. Mm, I, I, maybe, <laughs> in, maybe in short, you know, 30 minutes yeah, at a time. Right. <laughs> so that's cool. So going back to the Atomic Energy Lab, yeah. does it still have the all of the crazy I, chemicals from inside? What I've heard, ours is 100% complete. There's only two in Nevada, one in the museum. I think there's like 13 in the world, actually. And, wow. And yeah, and there's just like displayed in this nice cabinet, and ours is just chilling up there next to like a old school, old school scooter and a couple of scary dolls. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes, it is. That is insane. It kind of explains the 70s, though, right? Hey. <laughs> right, yeah. kids are tough. Yeah. They'll bounce back. <laughs> right. well, but we are kind of tough, right? Yeah, it's true. I mean, nowadays the kids are like dying from like jewels. I mean, you put uranium and plutonium in your mouth and we're fine. What? <laughs> 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 All right, you guys. Now I'm gonna show you guys our Power Ranger case right this way. This one, uh, we even have like the titanium in the box and outside of the box. And the box is like, the box is what makes any toy really. So I mean, nowadays, if you if you are looking to collect, I mean, start collecting the boxes. Really, <laughs> the boxes make the value. We even have some GoBots down Perfect. here, some LGN figures that are in the box, still sealed, not even open. That's cool. How much are those worth? They vary really depending on the condition of the box and you know if it was already opened and. All that good stuff. In the box. Yeah. In the, well, I guess, you know. What, box, how much it, are these for sale? Yeah, everything here is for sale. So if you guys want to get your collection started or add any new pieces starting out the new year, come on by and we'll hook you guys up with a good price, too. All right. So the uranium toy yeah. thing, how much is that? Okay, so we did get an offer for $25,000. Okay. And we declined it because it's just too... It's one of those pieces where... You're not gonna see that again, you know? Like, that just walked in on us. And that's it was cool. just like, hey, we don't know what this is. Here, take it. Uh, wow. And, you know, that's not gonna happen again. That's like a once in a lifetime thing. So he just can't really let go. Like I said, that's his prized possession yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. Right, cool. Awesome. What is, what's this up here? Is it a dagger thing? Or? <laughs> I'm not sure. Don't know? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm cool. not too familiar with my Power Rangers. I was not really. Not my thing growing up. I like uh, Transformers though. Transformers. Robots in disguise. Yeah. No, that was me. Not, not really Power Rangers. No. Okay, <laughs> cool. Fair enough. Alright. Alright. Right over here, I'm going to show you guys our Ninja Turtle case. We even have some original 80s Ninja Turtle toys still in the packaging, actually. And then if you look in the back, we have some original animation cells as well from the original cartoon, hand painted and hand drawn. And then on this side, we are going to have our original G1 Transformers, unopened. So they're all completely sealed, and they're all super rare to find. I mean, huge. And then these ones are just going to be like our loose, loose Transformers, but they're still older, so they have to be kept in a case. And then if you look up here, these Ninja Turtle heads were actually movie promotions. There's only 10 of them, 10 of them in the world made. Hmm. So that's like super cool pieces. He's still indecisive whether or not he wants to let him go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they are. They're super good. They're actually made out of wood. Really? Inside, yeah. Can you knock one? Um, yeah. Like, that, that's solid. It really is. And wow. They, they took their time with those pieces. They that's really cool. did. And we got Wonder Woman over here. This is my girl. Nice. Yeah, nice. Nice. Then right over here, I'm going to show you our G.I. Joe case. We got the three inch ones and then we got the bigger ones and then right here we're going to have a little bit of our He-Man section. He-Man is like so popular with us it's hard to keep them in stock honestly. Hmm. Um, same with uh, Thundercats right now. We only have a Spanish figure. Right here these are all our 80s original figures. Hmm. Super super cool and actually this piece right here is actually made by the Godzilla figure like the same people who made all those really nice Godzilla figures that was actually Peter Mayhew the recent um, character who played Chewbacca mm -hmm. in the past um, so those ones are all handmade and there's actually only 100 of them made so those wow. are rare pieces and so, it's just a cool piece to have you know yeah he recently passed I mean too wow. awesome so 
100 total, so there are 98 of those out there somewhere because you have two here, right? Yep. Actually, we have more in the back. Okay. So I think we probably have majority of them. So if okay. you guys want to get them, that's kind of like a Toy Shack exclusive right there. They're like antiques and tin toys. Now, these these toys are literally older than me. Like, older than me and all my friends combined. <laughs> Some of these, but they all work. That's the crazy part about them. Like, I mean, my grandma is, is older than this and she barely works. Like, th these toys are freaking awesome. Now, these were back when toys were really made with love, I feel like. Like, nowadays, I mean, boom, you're done. The toys are broken. <laughs> but these ones are still, still thriving. And then you got some older Batman, like from like the 50s or 60s, all right here. Lastly, I'm going to show you my Western case. Right this way. <laughs> now what's cool about this case is that these Mako monsters are super rare pieces. Um, let alone to find it in, in box, but all these are complete and they're all put together for you. See, everything you guys are seeing right now is for sale. So if you guys saw anything you guys needed to complete your collection, swing on by and we'll hook you guys up. Alright, cool. Take care. Alrighty, all right. you take care as right. well. Thank you. you. Safe one, be safe. Alright, thank you. Bye. Bye. Wow, and that was the Toy Chef.